Welcome to Gradebook Pro. Here we are in our main menu. Let's go ahead and add a class. Up here we're going to cl click class name. Let's call it Business 101. The term name, let's call it Summer. Term start date, March 16th sounds good to June 24th. So that's our current term. Let's use, go ahead and use that here at Southwest to use weighted save. Now we have our business 101. Now notice we don't have any students quite yet, but not for long. We're going to go ahead and go to action, create student, name, Joe, last name, Joe, hello. So now we have our new student, Joe, hello. So it's probably like Jay, hello at Southwest. And the ID is something like 2007, 7111. Okay, looks good to me. Save. Now we have our class, Business 101. We have our student, and now we need to create an assignment. But before we create an assignment, we have to create a category because we have a weighted system. So we're gonna go and add a category. So we're gonna go to Assignments, and now wait for the assignments are going to be 35%. Save. Plus again, and we're going to call this participation. The wait for participation, 25%. Save. Last, we're going to go and do exams. Category wait, 40%. Save. Now that we have 100%, we are able to get out of here. So we go done. Now we can actually create an assignment. So we're going to go action, create assignment. And let's call this one essay one. It's the first day of class. We give them an essay. We're going to grade it out of 100 points. Now the date, let's say we give it, uh, yeah, today sounds good. Category assignments. There we go. And so here in the notes is where you want to maybe put the directions of the essay. So we put here. name and discuss your biggest influence let's do that and that's the essay okay save all right now let's say they've turned in their their essays you've graded them now let's go ahead and manage that assignment. We click the assignment itself. We see that Hello Joe is here. Now notice these weights, or this balance rather. We know that it's 100 points possible. Active meaning he's going to get a grade. Exempt, let's say he was sick or absent that day, or he just dropped a class. We're going to say he's active. Safe. In the score box, he had a so-so essay. Wasn't perfect, wasn't the best. Let's say he had a 92 because he, he missed some structure. Perfect. Now that we're done, okay. Just to make sure that we have the right assignment, category assignments, save. Now let's go over, if you want, at this point, you can email this to Joe right now. So you can click the little envelope and you can send the score to students. It's gonna automatically populate uh, a, a compose window. So we have our email here to J hello from yourself. Subject is going to be the name of the assignment. Class name, essay, everything gives him his grade. And you can send it to him right then and there. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because that's not a real, it's not a real email address. So what does that wand do? That wand, let's say we have 30, 40 students and let's say they all cheated. Then you can put zero points. You can say, let's say, it was a rainy day and nobody was able to take the assignment, so exempt. Or you can go 100% on everybody. They all just did a good job. It was more so of a participation. And that's where you would do that. So notes. Uh, this window is the same as the earlier window. You can see that what we typed is still here, name and discuss your biggest influence. Good. And what does this window do? Error, there are no GBS files available to import. Okay. So if you needed to import previously made assignment files, then that's where that would take place done so now let's go ahead and generate a report 
We're gonna go to data, class report generator. I'm gonna choose my business 101. I want it to be a PDF file. We're gonna choose grades and we're gonna choose single email. Generate reports. Okay, so this is gonna give me the option to send it to somebody. And this is what it looks like here. Business 101, it always starts with the class, summer, average grade. Your average grade is going to be all of the percentages averaged together. Okay, and it was that easy. Now, let's say we want to send this to the student himself. Done. We're going to go to student report generator. Under student report generator, I have my business student, Joe, grades, and now I'm going to go to student email. And now let's say I had two, three, four, or five, maybe 30, 40, 50, 100 million students by clicking here, student email. There's gonna be 50 emails here and they're gonna individually go to each individual student. So you don't have to worry about everybody getting each other's grades. That just isn't gonna happen. I'm gonna delete that there. That's pretty much it here for grades. Now let's go back and take a look at some other options that you might be wanting to play with. So we go manage and let's do something like attendance. Okay, so we're gonna add attendance. So hello Joe from Monday, June 16th, he was here in class. Or maybe he wasn't, maybe he was absent. Or maybe he was late. So here, absent, you can do excused or non-excused. You can notice the thumb going up and down. And same with his tardiness, was it excused or unexcused? Well, lucky for Joe, he was here in class. And same as before, let's say Joe wants to know his attendance record. Well, we're gonna go to data, student report generator, and you're gonna click business 101, hello Joe, attendance, and then we're gonna go to student email, generate reports, and automatically it's ready to go to jhello, southwestuniversity.edu, and it's gonna give him his attendance. He's got one present. So his status is present. That's about as easy as it can get. So here, so can we import previous Excel sheets with student name and student email? The answer is no. So you can only import previously made Gradebook Pro databases. So that's where uh, some confusion might be. You can't just import Excel sheets. If you have previously made Gradebook Pro data, you can import that via Dropbox. And we'll go into the PDF in a little bit more description there. But, um, but if this is your first time using Gradebook Pro, which I'm assuming most of you are, then that is it. So we created a class, we created a student, we created assignments, we graded the assignment, we generated a report. I hope you found that useful. I know I did. And hopefully this shaves at least four to five hours a week from you. Until next time, I'm Mr. Salcedo. Take care.